So here it is. Hope you could see it, right? Looks really nice. You don't see the cable. All right, guys, it is charging. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I got another video for you today. So today we're installing a phone mount on a 2018 Rogues. A lot of you guys who watch my channel have not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button down below and put notification bell. Right there, boop, easy. So you don't miss any of my video. Without further ado, let's car stomach. it. So guys, I gotta show you, this is the phone mount. This was sent to me by Last Fit and they want me to install it and give my honest opinion so that's exactly what i'm gonna do full disclosure i'm not being paid by them they just send me this item they want me to install it and basically say what i feel about it let's go all right guys so let's open this up and see what's in there so here's the box that comes in so this is what it's supposed to look like. Hold on, I got it backward. There you go, this is what it's supposed to look like. So a nice little box, and then you use your cigarette lighter to power it on. Let me see if you can see. Okay, secure magnetic lock, charging protection, MagSafe, built-in 16 watt to 52 magnet, and vehicle specific. specific. So let's go. So this is what's in the box. You got the, um, what is that? All right, you got the, um, the magnetic mount and the little ball in it. Then here, you've got the uh, little instruction how to install it, USB to USB-C, and you got the little mount. That's about it. So let's go and install it. All right, guys, let's take a, uh, the little package out of the box there we go so this is the little part that we're going to need and we got these other little i think those are cable management stuff so what i'm gonna do we're gonna put this circle part into this guy right here like that backward then you put the magnetic mount on it you push it until it locks in. All right. And then you tighten this, this guy up. Okay, so we want the magnet to be this facing down. Now we can slide this part in here. There you go. Now it's in. There you go. You guys see it? After that, you grab this guy, the way it goes, you put it in here. So all you have to do is just clip it in, guys. That's it. It's that simple. Then you grab your USB-A to USB-C cable. Connect it, then I'm gonna try to route it over here. I'm gonna try to route it over here like that so if your car has a USB cable you can just connect the USB cable right up here so all right all right guys so what I'm gonna try to do is uh, run the cable to make it look a little nicer so I think I need to take this thing out so what I'm first thing you want to do let's pop this cover off okay there's a Phillips right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Now you should be able to pop this guy off. Okay. Now just pop this thing off. Right, 
Okay, now guys, we grab this cable. So just line it up as it's gonna go this way. Lift this up a little bit so I can push the cable behind it. I mean, uh, underneath it. Perfect. Now we can put this uh, trim piece back. Done. Now put this one back. Just snap it right in there. Okay, finally snapped in. And then, then put the screw that holds it in place. That's it. Put that little cover back. That's it, guys. So here it is. Hope you could see it, right? Looks really nice. You don't see the cable. It's connected right down below. So let's take this guy off, the little plastic on it. Here we go. All right, guys, let's test it. Looks good. All right, guys, it is charging. All right, you can see there's a little green light here. You pop it in. Yep, it's charging, guys. Nice. I'm gonna take a quick drive with it and see how it looks to see, make sure it doesn't fall down. And it doesn't, I mean, it has a pretty good magnet, so I think it should be fine. Let me take a quick drive and I'll tell you guys what I think. All right, guys, I actually really like the mount. I like the way it stands, it's right up there. It's not in your way. I run the cable to the side where you can't really see it. It looks really good, guys, and it's pretty sturdy. I'm gonna go, see, purposely go on the bump and barely move. And you can tell it has a really strong magnet. If your phone has MagSafe, but most iPhone, I, and then some Android should have that same type of uh, wireless charging you should be totally good so so far so good guys i'm gonna drive a little bit more trying to find a little bumpy road and see how it goes and especially if you do uber and you want to you have a rogue and you want to have your phone for navigation this would be perfect and it's easy it's very easy to install guys five minutes it took me longer to run the cable to install this you know what i'm saying guys i'm like turning it's not even moving at all which is pretty good that's what you want in a phone mount pretty steady i admit guys it's it's pretty impressive so guys that's it that's the phone mount from last fit nice little phone mount easy to install and it's nissan dedicated nissan rogue dedicated i don't know if there's any model that has the sim similar um setup where it might work but for the rogue works great really like it okay guys i'm gonna try to like shake the car a little bit see if it does anything nope does not move at all <laughs> i like that does not move one bit which is great so one more time guys here is the phone mount from last fit i ran the cable from here you can't see it and it comes down here this it connect to the usb uh port all right guys so the phone mount from last fit is installed it's a nice little addition to your car especially if you have an iphone if you have an android too if it has magsafe or something similar to it and i forgot what it's called it should work totally fine plug in i mean charge the phone fine hold the phone really well easy to put it really really sturdy when you put it in easy to take it off i mean you can't go wrong last fit 
that's a winner all right guys thank you for watching again until the next time peace